Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to build a website and today's video is in collaboration with Wix. I believe that a website is of the utmost importance because even if you aren't going to be like having purchases made through your website or have a storefront on your website or writing blogs regularly, I personally believe that it's important to at least be updating your website once a quarter. If not once a quarter, then possibly twice per year just to make sure that all of your information is in one central location and in a location that actually belongs to you. There are a lot of risks that we take by just having our information all spread out, A, and then also using platforms that don't belong to us or that we don't own because they can essentially go away at any time. But obviously that is not the case if you have a website of your own. I've heard many great things about Wix. I know a lot of people who use Wix and swear by Wix and I guess you probably wouldn't know this unless you like really really paid attention but I actually already run one website through Wix and that is the Planning a Better Me Retreat website. the first step is going to be clicking the get started button. At this point, it's going to prompt you to log in or to sign up so you can continue with Facebook, continue with Google, continue with Apple, or you can just click the sign up button here, for which case it's going to prompt you to enter in your email and a password and go through the steps of signing up. I am actually going to continue with Google and then I'm going to go ahead and enter in my username and my password for my Gmail account and then I'm going to sign up that way. So at this point it's connecting me. I just entered in my username and password and now this is the page that it's showing me. So we're going to go ahead and press get started. This screen prompts you to select why you want to create a website or what you're creating a website for. I'm going to go ahead and select myself because this site is going to be for my business or myself but they do give you other options to include a company my client someone else or a startup the next screen asks have you created a website before this is my first time I've created a few I've created many I build sites professionally I feel like I am a master of none when it comes to building websites, so therefore I'm going to select this is my first time. What kind of website do you need? Normally I just do blogger, so that's what I'm going to select today, but let's say you are trying to open up a shop of some sort, just search whatever it is that you're looking for and it's likely to show up or to pop up on this list, but again I'm just going to do blogger. For the type of blogger, I'm going to select personal blogger. So here is where you get to select just some of the site features, so I want a blog, I want a subscribe form, I don't need a chat box because I'm not going to be chatting with anyone. I will select online store. There are some other options here as you can see. So I'm going to select bookings because I do need clients or do want clients to schedule appointments with me. I don't have any events, I don't need pricing plans or a form. I do want my Instagram feed to pop up as well as um, we'll do video and then we're gonna select next. So this page is going to prompt you to select the website template that you love. This one here actually speaks to me most and I found it on page two. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. Yeah, I think I like this one. So let's go ahead and edit this one. And this is gonna be our template for which we will create our own website. Now we are in the Wix website editor. And from here is where we can go through and change whatever it is that we need to change. So obviously my name is not Maya and there are a lot of changes that we need to make. So let's go ahead and start by changing this. And I am going to put Shea Budgets. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this over a little bit just so it's on one line. And I am not quite a project manager, so I'm gonna select that and edit the text. And I'm just gonna put finance blogger. The next thing that we're gonna do is edit this section. So I'm gonna go ahead and select image and we're gonna change the image. And I actually want to go ahead and upload some media. I'm gonna select upload from computer and then I'm gonna select this photo, which is really the only professional photo that I have of me. So we're gonna select that one and it's going to upload to my library here. So now I'm going to select choose image. And just like that, I have changed the image. So I'm also going to change this here. Let's select edit text. And I'm going to put Shea Budgets. And then I'm going to put Personal Finance Blogger here. 
Next, I'm going to edit this text and I'm going to enter in some information about me and kind of like tell my story. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my little blurb that I normally do. And it's pretty long. Some of it doesn't really need to be here anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this, but I am going to leave everything else and I'm going to drag it over a little bit just so it doesn't look so jumbled up. Okay, so that is our bio. So we need to change the social bar. So let's go ahead and click on that. I do have a Facebook and an Instagram, but what I would care to see there would be, I don't need that and I don't need that. So I'd prefer YouTube and I'm scrolling down here in the, the black ones because these are, these appeal to me most. And then I'm going to do YouTube, add YouTube. So we have Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and add Pinterest and here is the black and white one. So we're going to add to gallery. Now I'm going to edit this Instagram link. So it's actually mine. So mine is actually shea budgets and i do want it to pop open in a new window so we're going to do that and then we're going to select done and then i'm going to do that for the others as well okay so i've added all of my links as you can see and so let's go ahead and select done and so now this is customized for my needs so let's go ahead and scroll down and i do want to edit this down here so we're going to do 2021 by Shea Budgets, proudly created by Wix.com. I don't have a number for anyone to call, so I need to delete this, which all you have to do is select it and then press the delete button or the back button. I'm using an iMac for my editing purposes. Shea Budgets at gmail.com and then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it's one line. And then I'm gonna leave the follow there because I think that's cute. While we're currently viewing in desktop, you can also select switch to mobile just so you can look at it and see what it would look like if you were on you know, some type of mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch back. So I think my main page, which is technically my about me page is looking really good so far but i do want to add my instagram feed so i'm going to go over here to add and then i am going to search the editor and i'm going to type in instagram and see what pops up so what i'm looking for is this i want to display my instagram feed and it looks like i need to do so by going to the app market so i'm going to select open and then i'm going to add this to my site it has been added and I don't want it right there, obviously, because I have other things right there. So I'm going to move it to the left over here. And then I'm going to try to make it smaller so that it'll fit over here nicely. And then I am going to go ahead and connect my Instagram. And then I'll show you what it looks like. There are my pictures. And I'm going to go to layout. I think I like a slider. Three images. Let's exit out of there. This is what we're working with as of right now. So I need to find a place for my Instagram feed. I'm going to go ahead and add a strip and I'm going to add a classic strip and I'm going to add this. And then I'm going to drag this down and put it in the strip. Next, what I want to do is add some YouTube videos. So I need to find a place for them. And so therefore, I'm going to go ahead and go to add. I want to go to strip and I'm going to add another classic strip below my Instagram feed. And now I'm going to go to add. I'm going to go to video and then I'm going to go to YouTube and then it's going to come down here. And so obviously I need to change that video. So I'm going to paste the link to the video that I want there and then exit out of it. And so now I have one of my YouTube videos here. And I actually think I wanna add a couple more, like maybe one over here and one over there. So I'm gonna just repeat those steps. The final thing that I wanna do is edit my pages. And so far I have an about me page, a contact page, and I want to add a booking page. So I'm gonna go to add page. And then here is my booking page. I'm gonna go to add. I'm gonna to go to bookings and then I'm going to select service list. I'm going to select manage services and then I'm going to add in my services. So I've added all six of the services. So let's exit out of here. And so this is what it's going to look like on the booking page. To edit the layout and the design, I'm gonna to go to settings and then I'm going to go to layout. 
I think I prefer a strip. Definitely am not a fan of the picture showing because I would prefer that not be there. And I do want to change the design of the button. This one is more my speed. That is more my speed. Now we have our about me page, which looks like this. And then we have our contact page. As it stands, there's no like booking button or anything like that. So I want to add one up here or add it up here to the horizontal menu. So I'm going to select manage menu. I'm going to add a menu item. I'm going to add a site page. I'm going to add the booking page and I'm going to press apply. And so therefore now whenever people do go to the website and they want to go to booking, they will actually be routed to this page so that they can actually book. Now let's go ahead and preview the website. So I have my about me page looking good. I have my contact page, which is looking good. And then I also have my booking page. So at this point I am officially ready to go live and to publish my website. To create a website of your own, head on over to www.wix.com forward slash budgets and I'll have the link in the description box. Okay, so that is it for this video. Another shout out to Wix for sponsoring today's video. I hope that you guys found this helpful. Do let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns. As always, leave them down in the comment section or you can feel free to email me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.